Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error message that is something went wrong and the service failed to start. Try again in a minute. So if you are receiving this error message whenever you try to launch EA app on your computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to make sure origin is closed. So if you have origin op open, go ahead and close it and make sure that you close the origin and EA background services in task manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager. And over here, if you find EA services running or origin services running, go ahead and select it, then click on end task. Now, if you don't find origin or EA service running, you can go ahead and skip this step. Now, and then you can go ahead and try to launch EA play. Now, still you're receiving the error message. In that case, you can go ahead and log out and close EA app if you're logged in on any other computer. So go ahead and close your EA app on other computer and then try to launch EA app. Now still you are receiving the error message. In that case, you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall EA app. Now this is what has fixed the problem for me. So you can go ahead and uninstall it, restart your computer and then reinstall the app and that should definitely fix the error message. Now for this, go ahead and open Windows settings and then go to apps and click on apps and features. And in the search box over here, you can go ahead and type in EA Play. EA app. And then in Windows 10, you simply click on EA app and then you will see the uninstall option in Windows 11. In front of it, here you can see three dots. Click on it, then click on uninstall. Uninstall. Click on yes to allow. And let the uninstallation complete. Click on uninstall once again and let this process complete. Now after the uninstall, go ahead and click on close and then you have to restart your computer. Go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then restart your computer. So make sure that you restart the computer after the uninstall. Now after the system restart, you can go ahead and open this link in a browser and it will take you to EA website. The link is provided in the video description. And here you can see the download option, click on download run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on let's go click on yes to allow and then let the download complete now after the installation you will see this login screen login to your ea app so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel